Jacks. Hi, and thank you for purchasing a Jack Sack. Over the next few minutes, we will show you how to assemble your new product. Place your product in the desired location such as a bedroom, living room, or entertainment room. A parking lot is a good example of where not to install your product. Once you've decided on an appropriate location, empty the shipping container and make sure all of the assembly items are included. You should have foam capsules and a plastic bag containing instructions, the inner liner, and outer cover of the sack. Be careful not to damage any of the items by carelessly emptying your shipping container. Be sure to remember to read the assembly instructions or refer to this video when putting your jack sack together. Do not ignore the instructions and attempt to take your own approach when assembling your sack. You'll most likely regret it later. Now find the white liner of the jack sack and remove it from the plastic sleeve. Completely unzip the liner, open it up, and lay it on the ground. To prevent any potential damage to the liner, be careful not to place it on a dirty surface or on any sharp objects. Place one of the foam capsules into the inner liner and slice it open using a box cutter. Be careful not to cut the liner. Using quick stabbing motions to cut open the foam capsules is not recommended. Once you have finished cutting the capsule and the foam has begun to expand, remove and discard the plastic from inside the liner. Placing the capsule inside the liner before cutting it open will prevent any unwanted messes. Repeat as necessary with any remaining capsules. Once all of the plastic has been removed, zip the liner closed and twist off the childproof zipper. Now that the liner is sealed, it's time to break up all the large chunks of foam. Do so by kneading and flipping the sack, allowing air to penetrate the foam until it is completely broken up. Again, do not attempt this step outside of the liner. Once the foam is expanded, you are ready to place the cover liner over the inner liner. Rotating and flipping this sack will help you achieve this. Now align the zippers of the inner and outer cover and zip the sack closed. Fluff up the sack by flipping it repeatedly. Make sure both liners are sealed correctly to prevent unwanted leakage. Congratulations, you have now completed the jack sack assembly. Allow 24 hours for the foam to expand to its full potential. Enjoy your new jack sack.